Hello, today I will be showing you how to merge Skyrim mods with Test 5 Edit. Things you will need is Test 5 Edit that can be found here, Merge Plugins X Edit script can be found here, and either 7-Zip or WinRAR. The first step is to create a folder in the desired location where you will store all of your merged mod packs. After choosing the mods that you would like to merge, create separate folders, data and source. The data folder is where your final merge plugin will be stored, whilst the source folder is where the mods included in the merge pack are in order to easily see what mods are in the pack. Go to where your desired mods are and copy them to your source folder. Depending on whether you downloaded a manual version, which would be in a zipped folder, or an installer version of the mods, 7z or ra files, you will have to unpack them differently. If you have a zipped folder, all you have to do is right click and extract the contents into the source folder. If you have a 7z or ra file, you must open them in 7zip or WinRAR in order to extract the contents, like this. Now, so you don't get confused, before extracting all of the mods, create folders for the corresponding mods contents inside the source folder. I am only using one mod, so I do not need to do this. If the mods you have chosen to merge include meshes, textures, scripts, audio, etc, create those folders inside the data folder. As you can see, this mod contains interface, meshes, scripts, textures. So in the data folder, I have to create interface, meshes, scripts, and textures. Now it's time for copying. To make things easier, open one window for the source folder and one window for the data folder. In the source folder, open one of the mods mesh texture scripts etc folders in the data folder. Keep doing this for all the mods. 
copy all of their contents except for the ESPs into the correct folder in the data folder so that they are all combined. Once you've done that, copy each mod's ESP file and paste it loosely in the data folder. Now we have to merge the ESPs in Test 5 Edit. Open Test 5 Edit, right click, select None. Only select the ESPs that you want to merge by typing the mod's names in the search box or by looking for them yourself. Once you have all of the ESP selected, click OK. Wait for it to load the plugins. Once Test 5 Edit has loaded the plugins, individually right click on the files that you want to merge and check for errors. Once you've done that, highlight them all by holding control and left clicking. Right click, apply script. The drop down should say merge plugins, whatever version, click OK. Make sure the copy intelligently and the two pass copying are selected. Uncheck read number for my D's. Click OK. Name it whatever mods mod pack. and click OK. Wait a few minutes, however big the mods are, for the merge to finish. Exit Test 5 Edit. Make sure this is unchecked and that your merged plugin is selected. Then click OK. Now go into your Skyrim data folder. Where all of your mods are installed. Look for your merged whatever mods mod pack.
cut and paste the ESP into your data folder. All you have to do now is create a folder inside the data folder and call it the same name as your merged ESP. Select all of the contents inside the data folder, copy and paste them into your new folder, except for the ESPs that you merged. You can either cut or copy, it's up to you. Paste them in here. And now you just have to right click, send to compress zipped folder. And there you have it. That's the file that you activate in Nexus Mod Manager or Mod Organizer. Before you install the merged mod, make sure you uninstall all of the mods that you have in your mod pack. So if I was about to install this, I would have to uninstall Hunterborn, the Frostfall patch, the Realistic Needs and Diseases patch, and the Wearable Lanterns patch before I activate this. Once that's done, go ahead and activate your mod pack like any other mod. Once you load a save, it will say that some files that this save relies on are missing. Don't worry about that. This happens whenever you uninstall a mod if you saved after installing it. It does this with merged mods for some reason, even though there are no files missing. I hope I helped you create a merged mod pack. Leave a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if this video was helpful. I will make more in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.